The Life and Sad Ending of Richard Chamberlain Richard Chamberlain was born George Richard Chamberlain on March 31, 1934, in Beverly Hills, California, U.S. The second son of Elsa Winifred and Charles Axion Chamberlain, who was a salesman. In 1952, Chamberlain graduated from Beverly Hills High School. He had a difficult childhood with his father battling alcoholism. But, Richard Chamberlain was a good sportsman who excelled in track. He graduated from Beverly Hills High School in 1952 and went on to attend Pomona College. In college, he studied painting and art history and passed out in 1956 with a degree in arts. While in college, he grew passionate about drama and earned recognition for his portrayal of Blunchill in the successful stage drama, Arms and the Man. Through what the creator gave him, he lived his life, lived up to the true human nature he had, and was ready to face. This is a story, and it is not intended to blame. Chamberlain was outed as a gay man at the age of 55 by the French women's magazine Neustur in December 1989, but it was not until 2003 that he confirmed his homosexuality in his autobiography Shattered Love, a memoir. Chamberlain was involved romantically with television actor Wesley Err in the early 1970s. In 1977, at the age of 43, he met actor-writer-producer Martin Rabbit, 20 years his junior, with whom he began a long-term relationship. Let's also look at people over the years as well as his career progression. Soon after his discharge from the military, Richard Chamberlain headed to Hollywood to pursue a career in acting. He first took acting lessons from the famous acting guru, Jeff Corey. Together they established the Los Angeles Theater Group, Company of Angels. Throughout the late 1950s and early 1960s, Chamberlain made small appearances in numerous TV shows. He was seen in an episode of Riverboat, where he played the role of Lieutenant Dave Winslow. He also made small appearances on shows such as Gunsmoke, Mr. Lucky, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, Rescue 8, Bourbon Street Beat, Thriller, Paradise Kid, and so on. In 1961, his career saw a major breakthrough after he bagged the titular role in the medical TV show, Dr. Coldare. Chamberlain looked every bit of the handsome, kind, and caring medical intern which made him an overnight phenomenon with an envious spike in female fan base. He then went on to record several pop singles which further added to his growing fandom. His theme from Dr. Coldare, entitled, Three Stars Will Shine Tonight, showed up at number 10 in the Billboard Hot 100 charts. In an attempt to try something different from the goody image of Dr. Coldare, Chamberlain tried his hand at movies. He was cast in the courtroom drama film, Twilight of Honor, in 1963. He played the role of the lawyer David Mitchell who defends a man charged with murder. In 1965, he featured in the film, Joy in the Morning, which was the adaptation of a novel with the same name. He played the role of a law student named Carl Brown. After the conclusion of Dr. Coldare, Chamberlain wanted to break through his American Boy image so he took on more serious roles in summer stock productions such as West Side Story, Private Lives, and The Philadelphia Story. He revived his love for theater and featured in the Broadway musical Breakfast at Tiffany's in 1966. However, the play turned out to be the biggest disaster of his career as it was pulled out after just four performances. Relocating to England turned out to be the turning point in his career. He won accolades for his performance in the BBC's Portrait of a Lady adaptation in 1968. Thereafter, he went on to play the role of David Danner in director Richard Lester's drama film, Petulia. This was his first try at British classical drama and it helped him create a new image and also improve his acting skills. He was the cast opposite Catherine Hepburn in the film adaptation of The Madwoman of Chaliot, in 1969. Also, 
In 1969, he was selected to play Hamlet, for which he even took vocal coaching. His efforts paid off and he received rave reviews from the critics and audiences for his excellent portrayal. He then reprised the role of Hamlet in 1970 for the TV show, Hallmark Hall of Fame. Chamberlain continued to widen his realms of acting by taking up more challenging roles like that of the classical composer Tchaikovsky in The Music Lovers in 1970 and the flamboyant Lord Byron in the 1973 film, Lady Caroline Lamb. In The Woman I Love, he played the role of Edward VIII who renounces his throne for his lady love, Wallace Warfield Simpson, an American divorcee. During the 1980s Chamberlain appeared in several TV series such as, Shogun, The Thorn Birds, and, King Solomon's Mines. In 1988, he also played Jason Bourne in the TV film version, The Bourne Identity. Post-1990, Chamberlain appeared in several popular TV shows such as, The Drew Carey Show, Will and Grace, Desperate Housewives, Leverage, and, Chuck. He was placed at number 7 in the 2005 list of TV's 25 Greatest Teen Idols by TV Guide. Richard Chamberlain sang the title song in the movie, Joy in the Morning. He was the original Jason Bourne from The Bourne Identity miniseries. Chamberlain's frequent appearances on TV shows earned him the nickname King of the Miniseries. In 2012, he returned to stage as Dr. Sloper in the Pasadena Playhouse in the play, The Heiress. In life, there are times when we realize that it is normal to live and work with our own enthusiasm. No jealousy, no reluctance, and most of all rejoice over the good things, your life will be happier, no matter what you think of them, maybe you looked wrong before, now mistakenly, but they are still them. Trust me. No matter how difficult your life is, your situation must be more than full of people out of society. Richard Chamberlain is 86 years old with declining health. Please send my old friend wishes for health and fulfillment. Complete happiness.